baseball for you on a Tuesday night from Tropicana Field. Tonight we continue the road trip with the first of three between the Boston Red Sox. Trevor Richards gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Dan D. Rowe, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie. what I need to see out of this offense today is some early production. Somebody's got to get on, on, on base and, and put the defense on their heels. They've been struggling recently. They're not swinging the bats well. They got shut out yesterday, and this offense needs to adjust itself. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo, and he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. On the first, and it's a broadcaster's dream, at least to start the ball game tonight. Two very quick outs now. Next to dig in, Bobby Dahlbeck comes into this one, ranked number six in the American League home run race. Man, this guy's been in fuego lately, a boatload of homers over his last ten games. Yeah, usually, Dan, guys get hot throughout the course of the season, but not like this. Hot and hot with damage. Here's J.D. Martinez. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a two run shot to left center number 299 in his career and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. So as we check it out one more time. Remember that for years, 61 was the number to beat, and he's tied it right here. Here now is Rafael Devers. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. This guy's having a really good year for his age, but this is something. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. Gone! Back to back jacks on back to back pitches. It's a solo home run for Rafael Devers and that's home run number 48 on the year as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing. Well it's very early but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up. For he swings and crushes it. Oh my there is no doubt about this one and they've done it again back to back to back home runs. So here's Michael, Michael Chavis now as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one and this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a swing and there it goes. Forget about it. This is going to be back to back to back to back home runs. Long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happened. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. So they nearly bat around. Martin Perez will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're going to look at lefty Martin Perez. This guy's not an overpowering guy, upper 80s to low 90s fastball. Good hard breaking ball and a changeup to go along with it. The key for Martin is to throw strikes early with his off speed pitches. Lofted in the air out toward right center. In there, a base hit. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. And she'll take strike one on the inside corner. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. 
Perez. A left-hander who goes an even six feet. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. I'll tell you what, boys, I'd like to be this guy's agent. He's approaching free agency. He's one of the best players in our game. He's lived up to everyone's expectations, and I expect him to get absolutely paid this offseason. Next, it'll be Austin Meadows. Entering this one, he ranks number 10 in American League batting average. 0-1 the count. Outside for a ball, one and one. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, Dero, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weeds, Dan. Doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. the 1-1. One, one. Wisely nope. lays off the Outside. cut fastball there. It's 2-1. and one. Margo leads off first with one away. And it's fouled away. And a fastball. Blew it right by him and there are two down. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring the position. Baseman. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right yeah. now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Behind 0 and 2 now. Ball that Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Wow, that's a close pitch to take. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Ray's strand just the one. Second inning set to go. And set to go is the second baseman, Kike Hernandez. This is when you got to get selfish. You cannot get complacent or overconfident right here. These days don't happen often. When you got your foot on the accelerator and the entire offense is feeling pretty good, get greedy and keep getting knocks and putting pressure on the defense. Now batting, right fielder, Luki. Bet. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey. Looking at his oh, career totals, count. Betts is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. Yeah, Matty, I know in today's game, batting average isn't held in high regard, but for a career to be north of 300, you're doing it. Margo's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Next to stand in is Alex Verdugo. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Hey, guys, there had to be something in the scouting report right there. For him to be on top of that 0-0 change up the way he was, that was pretty special. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Comes set with the 0 1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And to score is the runner from first. It's a 6 0 ball game. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a 6 1 lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. Rich Hill is going to come on in relief now, and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. 
And that is off the wall. He'll get it into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far. He a home run earlier in the night. And that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Red Sox seven, the Rays nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the power speed combination. Randy Rosarena. Lewecki has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Batting six. The third baseman. Michael. Brasso. So next to bat will be Michael Brasso. To show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough game. Hey. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job Let's there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Verdugo waits on it. And that retires the side. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. All right. Thanks, Heidi. And it's gone as they add still another. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. His second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff. Now this ball's hit out to deep left center. Margo's going back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. That's in there. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Make it 9 nothing. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. At the plate now, Kike Hernandez, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a two run homer down the line in left. Home run number 52 for him thus far, as this lead got even wider. Michael please. Walker is going to come now on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Here's Mookie Betts. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And as 
you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Just classic confidence at the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. Alex Verdugo digging in now. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. Betts isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Safe at the plate as they extend their lead even further. Wow, we really got to see some elite speed burning around the base pass on that play. He came all the way around to score rather easily, and that top speed on show track makes me think we should start saying he's in scoring position when he's at first base. Into the box now, Bobby Dahlbeck, as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. His career line against Waka, not great, and he's one for eight. He swings and grounds it to short. Adama scoops it up, and there are two away now. Rafael Devers the next to bat. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First delivery to him. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Hey pitchers you better start taking notice of this guy he better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire that's his second hit of the ball game right there and I don't see him stopping and that brings in Xander Bogarts Hit hard back up the middle and that's through for a hit so now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double now battle the designated hitter Michael Schreiber. Into the box, Michael Chavis. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! So a three run shot to left center is second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Oh, Matty V, this has turned into now a lopsided one here. How about this, d row Seventh home run Dollar. of this game alone. This is crazy. They knew coming in they had the lineup to do damage, but this is getting absolutely out of hand right now. This guy is missing. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. But not before they hang a nine spot on him here to... And stepping in, Francisco Mejia. He leads Way off this go. half Hold inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Batting nuts. Pitch on the no way. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the versatile center fielder Manuel Margo. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Two out, nobody on. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Two strikes. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Set for the start of the inning, and stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Kike Hernandez. To show you how strong this guy is, he hit that last off-speed pitch over 400 feet. So. The pitcher wasn't supplying most of the power there. This is a really strong hitter. 
Here's the 0 1. Turned on down the line. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Mookie Betts. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Alex. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. McHugh sets his sights. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Takes just four pitches to retire the Red Sox. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. No balls and one strike. Diaz. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Verdugo waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Austin Meadows comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he got him swinging. Austin Meadows becomes out number two this inning. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. The 0 2 home. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. One left for Tampa. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Now the pitch. This is line to left. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Martinez. To the plate now, J.D. Martinez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Skied into straightaway right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. So here is Rafael Devers. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A two run blast to straight away right field his second home run of the game as the blowout continues. I almost can't believe I'm saying this but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance. Is this a live baseball game or are they taking batting practice right now. Dero. Somebody help oh. me out. This is one of those zero where they say hey, it's a good weather for a snowman right that eight spot looks like it's snowman in the scorebook eight. Now the first pitch. 
popped him up. Mejia is there. He handles it easily and the inning is over. Well, the Red Sox strike for. We're back at Tropicana Field and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Here's the first pitch to him. For the Red. Swing and a ball pulled the hard down the line and left. Michael. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double from the stretch. You can see that he was all over that pitch, yanking it down the line. They're lucky that thing bounced over the fence because if it would have got lost in the corner out there, there's no telling how far he could have gotten. The catcher. Francisco Mejia is at the plate as he looks at ball one. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. Hey, make no mistake about it. This One lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now Ready with the no first here. pitch. Here it comes. Kevin, Kevin Kiermaier is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0-1. His heater's got some late yep. ride oh, through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Leave and in to hit ball. next, it'll be the catcher, the catcher. Kevin, Plewecki. Kevin Plewecki. First delivery to him. And there's a base hit on the line. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Just an absolute laser that oh, time, screaming off the bat, if you the will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. In now, Kike Hernandez. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three, and they turn the double play. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped him up. Rousseau in foul ground. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up Manuel Marco. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. The first baseman, number two. Grounded to first. Reined in. And there's out number two. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Stepping in once again is Alex Verdugo. He comes in with a couple of hits, including a triple in four at bats. Alex lifted the other way down the left field line. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. And that is off the wall in right field. And they'll get the ball back in quickly, holding him to a single. Now batting the first baseman. He just Bobby. sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Now batting the left fielder, J.D. Peter Fairbanks Martini. comes on to pitch now, hoping Ladies for better Jones. results than the other three. arms that they've run out now there in this one. The Number 29. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. Swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. A leap 
but he won't get it. It's off the wall. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Rafael Devers. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Margo's under it. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And the run is in to score from third. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Oh, Jay, those are always big. Those add-on insurance runs. Big. And both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. That's not an easy thing to do, steal third base, especially off a catcher like this that has a good throwing arm. Oh, one pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. So now to the plate, Kevin Flewecki. Lifetime versus this arm. He's two for three. He's taken him deep once. From the belt, the pitch. Bogarts takes off. Strike taken to throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Liner in there for a base hit. And the second run will score as well. And he is in the second base with a two-run double. When we looked at this game on paper before it started, I don't think any of us thought it would go down like this. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And he is in there. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. Kiermaier looks up, gone! If you've lost count, it's understandable. That was their ninth home run of the game. Can you the believe what we're seeing in this? 99. Can you believe what we're Alex. seeing out of this lineup today, guys? I don't even think this lineup knows what's happening right now. Seriously, I think the entire lineup from top to bottom has completely blacked out. This is one of those days, too, d -Row. I'm a former guy that pitched in the bullpen. When you see the ball flying out of the ballpark like this, this is when you come to the ballpark and the pitching coach ask if you're available. And that's when you tell them, no, I can't pitch. I got a sore throat today. And that one yanked just foul. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach at 0 2 counts? My philosophy is this I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non competitive pitches, Matt. Throw some high and deep to left center field. Back goes Kiermeyer, still ranging back, and it's gone. So a solo shot here to left center field 41st home run of the year for him as this lead got even wider Diego Castillo enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. 
Into the box now, J.D. Martinez. Hit in the air out to right. J.D. Martinez. Meadows is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. But not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Red Sox lead it 27 to nothing. Craig Kimbrell comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. First pitch on its way. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. And this is why you come to the game right here. I'll tell you what. This is an absolutely great matchup. A couple alpha dogs out there. That probably won't be the last fastball we're going to see. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution. Nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Michael Brasso is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. <laughs> no, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like the pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Francisco Mejia. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Fouled off. Lau at second, Adamas at first, two out in the inning. Fouled away. A little bouncer. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Rays strand a pair. And they remain well, well behind. Begin the eighth and set to go as the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Now here's the first offering. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now with the plate is Xander Bogarts. In his career versus this pitcher, he's gone three for eight. First pitch on the way. Up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one out single. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. First delivery to him. And he fouls this one off. The left fielder. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. And that's the first down. Now to the plate. Here is Manuel Margo. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Maddie. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And that's the second out. The first baseman, number two. He's ready. Here's Young the first team. pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And eight oh. innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. 
And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that is in to right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. The batter number five. Into the box, Kike Hernandez. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. In now, Mookie Betts. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Stepping in now, Alex Verdugo. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And maybe some miscommunication there as the throw zips right by him. There's a saying amongst the offense, Dan, anybody can get three hits in a big league game. It's that fourth one that separates you. We'll talk about it. He's had a good week in one night. Could you imagine four hits in one game? I'd say he's having a pretty good day. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Ready with the 0-1. Popped him up. Mejia over to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now back. Left into the box. J.D. Martinez. Martinez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and... And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Stepping in next, Rafael Devers. Runner in scoring position with Sujan. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Margo finds some space out there for the catch to retire. Now at the plate, here is Austin Meadows. He's going to lead things yeah. off in their yeah. half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded okay. shutout. It's never a good feeling Meadow. to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Digging in will be Brandon Lau. So far, Brandon. two for three in this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The designated hitter. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 30 to nothing, the final tonight. Boston jumped out to an early Not lead in the, the first game. and never Four looked back. Martin minutes. Perez earns his 12th victory in the ball game, Thank picking up 11 strikeouts tonight. along the way. And Trevor Richards allowed seven Michael earned runs safely. to cross the plate in the losing effort. Craig Kimbrell.